the initial um, competition was based on Hurricane Katrina, where there was plenty of water around, but none of it was pure and you know good enough to drink, clean enough to drink. Um, so we designed this, and the competition was designed a human power device that you could send to a ravaged area such as Louisiana after Katrina, and just the local population there can ride it, use it to generate water for themselves after after an incident. We didn't know each other at all. Uh, we started talking about doing this right at the end of uh, last fall semester. Uh, Professor Artabilly had put up a few flyers mentioning the design competition. Uh, I saw that Jonas was interested and uh, Artabilly pulled us all together, Jonas, me and Henry. Technically we, uh, we definitely thought about the bike. We wanted to use our legs because we knew those were the strongest muscles to use. We wanted to generate the most amount of power possible. And within some of the rules and guidelines of the competition, um, it was us three that were allowed to bike, and we had an hour to produce a certain amount of water. So obviously, using the bike, we would have had the most amount of power, and we wanted to keep it as simple as possible so that um, if it was sent to an area, it would be easy to assemble, it would be easy to use, and basically user-friendly for anyone to, who needed to ride it. And so I think technically what we wanted to do is keep it as, keep it as simple as possible, keep it... Um, Basically, you know, have a heating element within a thermos of some sort to boil water. And basically, once the water boils, uh, we'll collect the steam and condense it back into purified water. Oh, there was definitely a, we, we all, there, there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of uh, um, compromise that went on. We all had our ideas about how to put this thing together. And we actually, we've gone through, Rosebud is the product of a lot of, different attempts at doing the same thing and we've taken the best of each each uh, each process and, and moved it on rolled it on to the next uh, next design they have full load of classes and they, they, they're good students so that means they had to do their own studying and you know make sure they don't fall behind their uh, work you know some of them have to work you know to earn a living you know do some I mean I think um, they are adult students and uh, you know they may have to earn a living so in addition to the work they do and the classes they take this was on top of all those things and that, that, that's, that's really a major achievement that they could spend this kind of time in. I, what I think is great too is that a lot of the four-year schools were looking at us as a community college and expecting us to not do as well as we did and uh, you know as far as I know uh, we're the only community college that competed in any of these rounds. Um, the competition came from pretty prestigious uh, universities, such as you know Naval Academy, which you know is very selective in terms of the students' admission, and the, the standard is very high. But um, this, this this competitions that's 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 the real good point about this competition that enables a student from a community college to compete against the selective schools and be able to show um, that they are, what are they capable of. And you know, the point of this competition is to make students feel comfortable and confident about their studying. And I think this has a great deal influence, you know, it has a great deal of influence on retention in terms of even a middle ground student that is not maybe academically doing excellently, but by being involved in this kind of activities, it tends to gain confidence, and this confidence translates into probably better coursework and you know better chance of uh, graduating. Professor Artabilly has asked us to advise on the for the next team. Okay. Um, uh, usually, in a in a four year school, the design competition is part of a, a design class. So uh, a lot of the a lot of the designs that have been going to these competitions are actually the pro uh, the product of uh, schoolwork. Uh, when I get to City College, I believe the same. Uh, the, they, have, they have the same setup. You go into a design class and you work on a design for a student design competition. Uh, I won't be able to do that again for another year or so. So in the meantime, I, I'd like to help out with the with BMCC's uh, design process. Um, in BMCC, they they have a lot of like workshop. We we have chance to like um, join those workshop and get the experience. And when we move to the four years college, um, we can like when we move to the four year college, we are so we 
we already have like those experience we got advantage and also we like here we they give us the confidence to um to get into the four-year college because you know the four-year college is much difficult than here so we we can prepare uh, in here and then we before we go to four-year college